Welcome Universe EDA customer with PostgreSQL Server using the SSL connection on the Linux environment. This video is will more focus on the SSL setup. So assume you already have a PostgreSQL Server on your environment first. So I was using one uh, particular uh, demo system is on the Rocket Linux 8 environment. Uh, already installed the uh, PostgreSQL uh, 14.8 version on my uh, testing environment. So we already support many database uh, with the EDA driver. Uh, latest one is MySQL and PostgreSQL. Uh, you will define uh, one very important uh, EDA configuration file in the universe home directory. So on the Linux window, a little bit different. Uh, Windows web will re rely on uh, ODBC data source administrator. On this video, a uh, more focus on the Linux environment. Uh, it will require Unix ODBC uh, driver manager on your Linux system. Uh, it will be called libodbc-so, uh, regular in the user lib64 folder. So sometimes it depends how you install your Unix ODBC driver. Sometimes your installation will be uh, your ODBC INI file and ODBC INST the INF file will be underscore four slash EDC folder. Uh, my environment is actually is under a uh, user uh, local EDC folder. So you can very easy to use in the ODBC INST space minus J space minus D uh, command uh, to find out where is the your uh, INI file location. So uh, for Linux install the PostgreSQL server is pretty simple. Uh, you can follow on the website. They have a couple of different ways. Uh, one of ways using the DNF command or some system you can use an RPM uh, module. You can download from there and install from RPM direct on your system. And also we require to install the Unix ODVC a driver manager called minus D D E V E L option to install the uh, Unix ODBC driver manager on your Linux environment. And another the most important is called Postgre uh, SQL uh, minus ODBC option to install ODBC driver. So you will create uh, ODBC INST the INI and ODBC the INI file on your system. So uh, you can go to website to find out how to install the PostgreSQL. Uh, one of them are using this command, a uh, couple uh, DNF command to install uh, PostgreSQL on my uh, test environment. Uh, after you install it, uh, you can use in the states uh, PostgreSQL minus 14. My version is 14 now. So you can see it's running on my environment. So I also already installed the Unix ODBC uh, PostgreSQL or ODBC driver client on our Linux environment. So most important today, we're talking about how to set up the SSL with the PostgreSQL. So first step, uh, make sure you, you will require the three certificate file on your uh, PostgreSQL uh, configuration folder. So it's uh, by default you will see uh, install on your uh, for slash var, for slash lib, for slash uh, psql, for slash 14, for slash data folder. And uh, you need to create the uh, uh, three file called uh, server.key is the private key and also have a server a certificate file and trusted root certificate on your system. So how to create it? 
it's very simple just using the open SSL command uh, is the simple command called open SSL a request a new uh, using a server key uh, we, we just on the previous step to create a server key and here just create a server uh, certificate file so after you create it you basically you just copy the server certificate become root certificate so after you create a three a certificate on your system so you will uh, update your configuration file uh, called postgresql.conf uh, basically it's two components you need to update uh, one is uh, update the external host uh, by, def by default it will be only local host can connect it if you want to allow some other machine connect to your postgresql uh, you might be changed to uh, my environment to start to allow any other external uh, machine can connect to this PostgreSQL uh, server. And second is the uh, defined the SSL uh, section. Uh, they have a couple parameters you need to set. Uh, most important to set up the root.crt, uh, server.crt, and server.key is the uh, private key. And second one is defined called pg underscore hba dot conf uh, to define by default only allow uh, just regular without SSL. If you want to use an SSL, you just need to add another host SSL entry in the pg underscore hba dot conf file. After you change configuration file, uh, you need to log in the root user and to run the system uh, CTL command to restart the PostgreSQL. So after you are already uh, config and restart your PostgreSQL, then you can uh, run couple command to verify is already everything uh, SSL environment is ready. A most simple one is called PSQL minus upper U parameter uh, using the user called Postgres. Uh, minus P is by default is 5432 port for Postgres SQL and connect to your local host. So after you uh, run this command, you will see uh, this PSQL actually is running TSV 1.3 uh, protocol protocol to connect your PostgreSQL. Another way, if you run iSQL command uh, to connect your server, then you can run the select statement to see uh, what version, uh, SSO, uh, cipher, something, uh, it, will, uh, it will show you uh, which the cipher will be used. On the, uh, if you know SSL, you will, you will get nothing. But if you have a run SSL, you will see uh, additional SSL setting on your system. Another simple way uh, I always like to use in the BCI Connect to test the SSL connection. But for universe, you need to uh, add additional entry in the uvodbc.config file. Uh, just like this, uh, uh, Postgres, uh, Postgres SSL is the uh, DSN name is already defined on the ODBC i9 file and just specify DBMS type equal ODBC. So after uh, SSL environment already set up uh, running on your system, the uh, next step we're talking about EDA. Uh, EDA requires the license uh, so you can run UV region minus Z auction to verify your license. Uh, if you don't have it, uh, you can request a, a temporary license or you can purchase the EDA license. Uh, for the EDA config file in the Unix, uh, you will enter UV home directory. Uh, on Linux, you can run uh, EDA setup.sh uh, script. Uh, you will require a couple input. Uh, actually, it will create the four line uh, four lines in the EDA config file called driver equal ODBC 
and driver name will be Postgres uh, driver base and you can set up the log label uh, by default will be zero so uh, sometimes you have any EDA problem you want to uh, change the log level will be uh, 0, 1, 3, 8. Uh, 8 is the maximum log level setting. So after uh, EDA configuration file setting, so you can start the EDA schema manager tool uh, to create the EDA data source. So uh, make sure uh, you connect the user, have the right permission uh, on the a couple file and folder uh, have a right permission. Uh, for example, you must be have a EDA underscore data source file permission to write. Uh, another, you must be have a EDA underscore uh, exception folder permission to write permission for your connected user. And also it's another uh, folder called that U2 security folder and the file called uh, after you create the EDA data source, the password will store in the dot EDA security. So for my testing environment, I just set white permission to 777 and for that EDA security, I just change to 666 so every user can update it. Otherwise, you need to make sure you might be under user or maybe under the group. So uh, sometimes you don't have a uh, group permission to connect to your system, but you can use another way to create a basic program uh, to create using the uh, super root user to uh, generate your EDA data source. After you create it, uh, you might update uh, the some uh, permission for your particular user uh, just uh, special for EDA underscore data source, uh, EDA underscore section, and that U2 security folder, and EDA security. So you allow you to uh, update and change it. So after connect is successful, you can run the EDA connect command to verify you just create the EDA data source. So after you create it, uh, you can very simple. Uh, for my testing, I just create one special, uh, sim very simple file called states SSL file, and just for test SSL. So I after I map in the schema, I run the conversion, then I can see uh, the table called states SSL uh, is the schema dot states SSL table I store in the uh, my PostgreSQL server. Uh, also, I create uh, uh, one particular database called EDA underscore UV database. So uh, ev everything I set up my uh, con connection, the database uh, connect to this EDA underscore UV database. So uh, we do have some uh, compatible issue right now for couple one. Uh, if you run it 11.3x or something, uh, on Linux 8, I uh, should be having no problem to so, uh, work on uh, EDA. If you, uh, on the different version, uh, depend on your environment. So if you run 11.4.1 uh, environment, we already upgrade SSL 3.0. But if you, this Unix uh, uh, universe version installed on the Linux 8, uh, they have some uh, issue for SSL. So, but it's working fine without SSL. So we are working on this issue right now. If you're running on the Linux 9 environment, uh, you might be hit some uh, compatible issue. You can uh, copy the, this two uh, file called libcrypto.so.3 and also has libssl.so.3 copy to UV universe bin folder, uh, override the uh, system file. So it should be work fine without any problem. So uh, after we upgrade to 14.1.1, uh, definitely we change some SSL uh, library name uh, without any conflict. But sometimes it depends you will install a universe ODVC driver manager. Uh, 
it depends how you install it. Uh, sometimes you, you don't find it on the libodbc.so file in the lib64 folder. So in that case, uh, you need to copy. Uh, they have uh, maybe have other version like a libodbc.so.2.0.0. You basically just copy this the library, uh, became a libodbc.so, then uh, 14.1.1 version should work fine without any problem. So I will do the quick demo to show you how easy to set up the uh, uh, SSL environment with the PostgreSQL. So here uh, I already have uh, installed the PostgreSQL SQL 14.a version um, on my environment. So I can uh, show you uh, to see what is the version on this environment first. I always like to see the uh, a Unix environment. So that's Red Hat. It's running on Rocket Linux uh, 8.7. And also want to show you uh, what version uh, and this version. So right now it's already logging the root. So here is command to show you uh, which universe install on this machine. So it's 11.35 uh, uh, install on this machine. So I also like to see uh, the configuration file or where to install it on this machine. So normally I need to, uh, when you install the PostgreSQL server, you will create this particular uh, user. So I can su PostgreSQL. Use, that's the user. You will, you will sudo this PostgreSQL user and uh, run this command. to show you uh, where is the configuration file. So it's, uh, it's located on the for slash var, for slash leaf, uh, for psql, uh, for slash 14, and for slash data folder. So I will want to uh, install, uh, update the configuration file uh, inside this particular folder. So back to uh, a Unix prompt. So So idea is that you already have a uh, uh, PostgreSQL server installed on your environment. Also install the uh, PostgreSQL ODBC client on your uh, system. So uh, first you want to know uh, this environment uh, I show you is a where's the configuration file also, uh, before I actually I already set up the uh, SSL on this environment, so we can uh, very easy to make to check this the uh, uh, PostgreSQL is already so should be I need to make sure I running is is PostgreSQL user. So you can run. This command. So user. So you will see, uh, this server already set up uh, to allow you connect to a uh, TSV.1.3. So. If you first time you already installed it and you don't have uh SSL environment setup. So how can you set it up? Uh, I will show you a uh, step by step to create it. So right now is Postgres user. I back to a uh, root user. So first uh, you need to uh, CD to the 
Postgres folder, configuration folder. So inside here, uh, they, uh, for set up SSL, it's most important to set up is called uh, server uh, dot key. That's one, and create from there. That's the private key, and to create a server dot CRT, then you copy to root CRT. So, uh, how can you create a private key? So that's the uh, uh, command. So that's the command uh, to create a, a private key. So you just need to in, input. Just okay. So you will generate uh, this the server key. So I just uh, generate uh, right now. I create a server key. So after you create a server key of just for uh, for testing purpose, they require to remove the uh, password uh, from the uh, private key. So this way, uh, basically, you just run this command to open SSL and to input server key and output server key without anything. It will remove uh, the the private key, the passphrase. So that's the original one. So it just write back as key back uh, without anything. So second is you need to change the permission uh, called this mode. So let's just change the uh, permission. Also, you want to uh, change the user to allow uh, because I logged in is the root user. So I want to to create a uh, change the owner. So we can take a look a uh, server that key. So it changed the uh, just using the read only and change the the user owner became the Postgres uh, user and group. So next step, or we based on this uh, private key to create a certificate. So that's just the syntax. So you can use another open SSO command to request uh, based on the server dot key to generate the server dot CRT. So inside here, and you need to uh, import input a couple uh, basic information and uh, country code uh, live in Colorado a city a company name organization uh, organization The unique name, you two. Uh, your common name. Uh, email address. So basically, you will generate the uh, server certificate. So I just uh, using the uh, server dot key private key uh, to gen generate the server certificates. So after I create server certificates, then I just need to copy this certificate, a root certificate. So after I create it, uh, next step you will need to uh, update the configuration file. Uh, the, this one you can use in the the postscript so actually it's two part to update it uh, first one is uh, allow you to 
um, by default you have local host so I already uh, pawn signed to coming out so actually I changed to uh, star so that means it's allow all any other machine can connect to this server and next step will be uh, to set up the SSL so uh, by default will be off then I change to on then they have three parameters one is called CFIs uh, I have another setting called root 3 uh, basically I can change to root uh, another one is called server.crt it's the uh, server certificate file and the private key is the uh, server.key that's a private key so let's just uh, change the configuration file so if after I update it then another one is update the P BIM or PG PG HBA So uh, by default is no SSL connection. So here I just add another call host SSL entry in this file. So it will allow you to uh, update the uh, uh, to use the SSL connection. So after this, I using the root. So uh, I can re after you change it, uh, idea is just restart uh, your uh, PostgreSQL. So let's just command. Oh, so I basically I just restart the uh, PostgreSQL with the new uh, configuration file. So next will be uh, you can uh, run the status. To, to find uh, this one already installed it without any problem. So next step is very important to run this command to find out uh, where your ODBC installation. So just run this command. I know this one is uh, where is to find my ODBC INST.INI file and ODBC.INI file. So First, uh, I like to ch take a look. Just this one. So I have a uh, multiple uh, driver installed on this machine. I uh, include the uh, SQL Server driver and also my SQL driver, and I also install the Postgres SQL driver. As here, this entry. Uh, actually, they have two entry here. Also have an NC uh, auction here. So that's the uh, I install here to find out the ODBC INSD file. Also, uh, you need to create the uh, ODBC INI file entry. So uh, for my environment, actually I create two. Uh, one is using SSL, uh, one is without SSL. So here's the SSL mode called require. And this one, second one, is no SSL. And uh, so I have an option to connect SSL or without SSL uh, connection. So after I create it, uh, I want to uh, test it. So First, I like to use in the uh, iSQL command or isql post tre. Let's the uh, setting uh, here to use in SSL. So uh, EDA user. That's the uh, PostgreSQL user and password. That's my setting password. So it's connect uh, successful without any problem. So but how you know it's the using SSL or not? So uh, Postgre have the command you can use to verify it, uh, to using this command. So you will see 
uh, TLS V that we actually using the TLS V 1.3 uh, protocol to connect your PostgreSQL. If using another one, uh, actually uh, you don't see this protocol option. So also I like to uh, very quick before I test EDA, I like to test the BCI first. So BCI, uh, you can. So I already actually create two uh, BCI connect uh, entry in the uvodbc.config file. So this one uh, is for SSL. This one is no SSL. So you can uh, easy to uh, test on the BCI connection. So, so already in the UV folder, so I can run start the UV. So I can use in a connect. So I use in. So it's uh, connect to BCI without any problem. Uh, same thing, I can run the same command to verify uh, this BCI actually using the SSL command and connect to the SQL server. So you, uh, it's very clear. Uh, I connect to uh, using the protocol TS-3 and the cipher so using this way. So we can duck Q. So you know everything is ready uh, to set it up. So next step uh, will be to set up the uh, EDA environment. So before uh, before EDA, you have a license. So you can run UV regen minus Z option. So you will see the EDA license is yes. And next step is the very important uh, to run uh, this command. So that's the script file called EDA setup.sh. After you run, follow the instruction one by one. So actually it will generate the very important file called EDA config file. So you will generate four lines uh, to uh, connect to PostgreSQL. Why is so important? Because the different database, uh, let generate the SQL tenses might be different. So that's the main reason uh, you need to specify database. Otherwise, uh, the SQL syntax may be not uh, not the same. So also, I already turned on the log label equal eight. So if you any uh, EDA problem, so you can uh, generate. So next step uh, will be create a EDA data source. So EDA data source, you can uh, you can from the uh, from the EDA schema manager tool, or you can run uh, from uh, from the basic program. So I can show you very quick. List. So a very simple one uh, I have postgrad C R E A T E D S So that's the simple uh basic uh, program to create a uh, uh, data source name called PostgreSSL. So I already created it. So idea is you can, after you create it, you can list EDA data source. So I already create couple one, uh, PostgreSQL, uh, PostgreSQL uh, Server 2019 and PostgreSSL. So if I want to make another one, so I have can AE BP uh, create. 
ds oh, another one called test so I want to create another called test ds all the other environment is the same so if I run this so if I list to see the data source so I just create the new uh, test EDS, DS, the EDA data source. So after I create it, I can run EDA connect command. So you can run the uh, post GRE uh, SSL a with a user space and then u2 yes password so it's successful without any problem if you just run the eda.connect the uh, eda data source name then we're using the setting uh, it's basically the same eda u2 uh, uh, the the postgresql user password so after you create it then we go back to uh, this one I connect to this one because I only a regular user so you will see right now I have a four and I just want to test on this one and this one I test it so it's complete the same and successful because I already update uh, the on the presentation I show you uh, four things is called uh, EDA underscore data source, uh, EDA instruction folder, and also have a call dot U2 security. So that's another um, very important things. If you're using the regular user, so that's the, I already locked in the root. So user UV. Very important uh, uh, permission is called EDA data source so I changed the white permission for everyone another uh, is called EDA CEPTIO that's the folder you will generate any uh, uh, EDA uh, log file exception log on this folder and uh, make sure you have a right permission another uh, very important is called dot U2 S E C U R I T Y. So this one is actually store the EDA uh, data source password in the dot EDA security file. So make sure you have a uh, right permission to read and update it. So after I set up the uh, EDA data source, uh, everything's right. Then I can do the conversion. So uh, my environment uh, already set it up uh, here. I call because I want to test the uh, SSL. So that's just the way uh, to create. It's this very simple file uh, to do the uh, mapping uh, called a states SSL. So I can uh, already com convert it. I can reconvert again. So it's the small file, so you can uh, reconvert uh, states SSL. So you see uh, 50 records is on the uh, PostgreSQL. So uh, after you already um, convert to PostgreSQL I'd like to see uh, the the PostgreSQL actually on the same machine right now so uh, for here I need to uh, lock in the PostgreSQL PSQL so for here uh, let's the PostgreSQL com uh, PostgreSQL command so you can list uh, let's a uh, couple database. 
I already create call special call EDA underscore UV database. So I can connect to uh, EDA UV database. So I c uh, switch to uh, EDA UV underscore uh, UV EDA underscore UV database. Then I want to see uh, what is the uh, table name. This actually is called DT. Uh, to show you called S state. So actually it's create a, a table here. So you can select from uh, states. The first one is schema. The second one is the table name. So it is actually a whole data is here. So we know uh, everything is successful uh, to convert the state file to this machine. So if you have another one, I just uh, create another one uh, using uh, connect to another one. So I disconnect this one. I already set up another one. Actually, it's 14. So this one I uh, also have uh, set up, but this one is running on universe 14.1.1. Uh, so it's actually is on this another uh, units version. So it's 14.1.1. So I can test. Uh, for this machine, it's only ODBC client on this machine. It connects to the same PostgreSQL. So it's connects successful. Uh, it's defined in the uh, EDC ODBC INI file. Then I can do the conversion. So here I have one particular file called uh, states 14.1.1. So this one uh, is just the same uh, universe file. So I want to convert. Convert to uh, SQL Server, uh, PostgreSQL Postgre SQL Server. So look like successful. So we go back to look at the uh, this folder. This the so you can see actually it's called states states fourteen one one. Yeah, so we know it's also a uh, successful uh, convert uh, from universe, uh, universe uh, 14 uh, that one, that one uh, to this particular environment. So idea is uh, very simple. You have one already have PostgreSQL in your environment and you just need to create a three file uh, three like a uh, server dot key, private key, uh, server certificate file, and root certificates on uh, your machine. So uh, after that, uh, you just update the configuration file, two configuration file update. Then you can uh, restart your universe. Then all the step and uh, just like a uh, note without SSL, uh, it just uh, complete the same. So hopefully you can learn uh, very quick to set up your PostgreSQL SSL environment very easy. Uh, thank you for your watching.